question by the member for La Trobe. The question is the motion be agreed to. I call the member for Wills. Wills, sorry. Thank, thank you, uh, uh, Deputy Speaker. Uh, yes. Canned hunting is the practice of intensively breeding and domesticating lions within confined areas in South Africa in particular in order to create easy targets for tourist hunters. And I support the member for La Trobe in condemning this practice. Uh, it, is, it is barbaric killing for macabre trophies. Hunters from all over the world, but notably from the United States, Germany, Spain, France and the UK, go to South Africa and send home lion body parts, such as the head and skin, preserved by taxidermists, to show off their supposed prowess. The animals involved are habituated to human contact, often hand-reared and bottle-fed, so are no longer naturally fearful of people. Such animals will indeed approach people expecting to get fed, but instead receive a bullet or even an arrow from a hunting bow. This makes it easy for clients to be guaranteed a trophy and thus the industry is lucrative and popular. There is a spurious argument made that somehow hunting brings conservation funding into a country through hunting permits, yet this has been shown to be patently false. The steepest declines in lion populations have in fact been in countries with the highest hunting intensity and it has been shown that the funds reaching the local community are minuscule. Born Free USA, along with Humane Society International, the Humane Society of the United States and the International Fund for Animal Welfare commissioned economists at large to investigate the facts. That study, published in June 2013, shows that the trophy hunting industry makes a minimal contribution to national incomes. It is an absolute scandal that the continental lion population has fallen from an estimate of over 75,000 as recently as 1980 to around 32,000 in 2012, with a further concern that the numbers could now be as low as 25,000, distributed over only 22 per cent of their historic range. What this demonstrates is that African lions require increased international protection from all threats, including overutilisation for commercial or trophy hunting. Between 1999 and 2008, offtake for recreational purposes was unsustainable by any standard in at least 16 of the 20 range states trading in wild source lion parts. An Australia Institute report has shown that the economic impact of an Australian restriction on the import of African lion trophies would be minimal because trophy hunting plays a negligible role in African economies, lion hunting is a minor part of the trophy hunting industry and trophy hunting makes a minimal contribution to rural development. The Australia Institute identifies the trophy hunting industry as a small part of the African tourism industry. Uh, by contrast, the overall tourism industry generates over $13 billion in countries with lions and trophy hunting represents only around 2 per cent of tourism revenues. Now, the member for Colaire asked in the debate, what can we in Australia do? Uh, in response, I support the member for La Trobe's proposal that all animals listed under the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora, the CITES Appendix 1, 2 and 3, to which Australia is a signatory, are banned from being imported into Australia. And I also concur with him that we should change the Environment Protection and Biodiversity Conservation Act to not only stop imports of canned hunted African lion body parts, but, but stop all species listed under the CITES Appendix 1, Appendix 2 and Appendix 3 from being imported unless specifically approved by the Minister for the Environment. As the member for La Trobe outlines on his website, video footage of this practice depicts many distressing scenes, including one of a lion lying on the ground where at close range a not so skilled or brave hunter took several shots to kill the lion. The lion does not try to escape as it does not regard the hunter as a threat due to past positive contact with humans. This cruel and barbaric activity needs to be stopped and a change in the law preventing the importation of animal trophies resulting from canned hunts will help achieve this while also assisting in protecting the future of international wildlife. Deputy Speaker, the idea of killing animals for sport is frankly barbaric and medieval. But if people really want to do it, then at least I think we should have a level playing field. Uh, the lions have teeth and claws, uh, so give the hunter an appropriately sized knife and fire up the lions a bit before the contest by not feeding them for a couple of days. Uh, I think that would be fairer. Thank you, the member for Wills. 
The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call the member for Swan. Thank you, Madam Deputy.